Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingsfield the Ancient City. So, we left on a cliffhanger -y note last time. A really big cliffhanger. Do we go into here first where we need the proof of wisdom? Or do we go to the other area first? I'm gonna go to the other area first, because that's kind of like the one I feel like I built up more last time. I could be a dick and not go. How does that feel? You guys are like, oh, oh, I just want to know what's behind the door. I'm like, nope, never mind. <laughs> and I just warp away and do something completely different, like go die at the treasury again. All right, so now that we're here, we got to pop in the various eyes, the black eyes into here. So, um, I'm, okay, we got to pop in the black eye piece. I, I had to do it. Okay, anyways, I was like, do I make this? It's, it was what popped in my mind, okay? Sometimes you just gotta improv and go with it, even if it's terrible. Which you guys are very accustomed to when it comes to me. Alright, so. We're gonna go in here, and what we're going to get is this area, which is, reminds you of the forest, and we see these golem creatures again. Who are stuck in the water. I think you can actually run off and die, so I'm not going to do that. But, yeah, a couple of these uh, guardians, not golems, guardians, I'm in Dark Souls mode. I just finished the lore video that I just posted, so, uh, in my time, this, I'm actually going on vacation this weekend, uh, San Francisco to see some family, so, I'm trying to get this recorded so I can start, like, compressing and all that while I'm in San Fran. Alright, so you can actually see some dragons on the side, too, which is pretty interesting, so we're actually seeing dragons, and, um, even though we haven't met any, we're, we're seeing dragon stuff and references, so. Alright, so we go all the way up here, and let's go ahead and press X on this. Okay. Okay, never mind. I guess we're gonna walk on it. Okay, now I press X. And, alright, so that sword is my, um, that ruler sword that I had before. And that's what we're pushing down there. So that's what I got from that warrior who died over where all the widows were that I picked up that I was level 2. And he gets light shining down on it. In the middle of the forest in the secret area. And if you look at it, what does that look like to you? Now look at it. Look at it a little bit. Does it not? Is it not the Moonlight Sword? There you go. So if you're wondering where the Moonlight Sword was in Kingsfield Ancient City, as it was in all the Kings, every Kingsfield game, this is where it was. In Kingsfield Japan included, if you guys watched that Let's Play, I found it in Kingsfield Japan, is in every single one. So there is our Moonlight Sword. I don't believe you actually need it to beat the game for this. Uh, for this, actually, even like Kingsfield Two, which would be Kingsfield One in North America, it's a total secret to get it. Oh, here we had that dragon statue again. But uh, that is why I didn't uh, end up repairing the sword, is because I think it repairs itself. So you can see I'm not wearing the weapon anymore, because I just put it in the podium. And there we have the Moonlight Sword. Yes, yeah, so now it's got 100 durability. Other thing is, it's now back down to level 1, so that's why I wasn't too worried about repairing it or all that. But now it's got extra light damage. Really powerful sword. The Sword of Legends, it can reflect light and dispel the dark. Proof of a King. So now we have our Proof of a King. Uh, I'm not sure if you actually needed this or not to get into that area where it says Proof of a King, but I guess you would, as this is Proof of a King. So, now we have our Proof of a King and that Moonlight Sword, so... Uh, let's continue. At least I don't think you need this to beat the game. Maybe, I guess we'll see what I get in this next area and find out from that. That might be the telling factor. So that was what was behind this big door. Actually, it's something that wasn't evil. Oh! And now this the king's gonna talk to us, the skeleton. All right. When the light becomes, when the light becomes stronger, the dark does as well. Perhaps relying on magic alone isn't the best way to fight the darkness. So this is also what we kind of heard uh, in Dark Souls as well. That whole thing, we, we hear that from Vendrick. When light becomes stronger, so does dark. When Vendrick says that in Dark Souls, uh, at least I think it was Vendrick. So the fact that uh, yeah, it's definitely Vendrick. So. The stronger the light grows, the bigger the shadow it casts. So when the light becomes stronger, the dark does as well. We seek the light that dispels, and the blade that can slay. Seek the blade of the forest. Well, that's what I kind of just got here. I just got my blade of the forest. In order to completely remove the dark folk, you will need the light of the forest to enchant the blade. Only then must you face the dark one. Uh, you know what? You might actually need to beat the game, actually to even hurt the final boss of the game. As this is indicating right here. But this is how we want- we're gonna completely remove the Dark Folk. Uh, apparently. So, enchant the blade, uh, and then we'll face the Dark One, so. 
bunch of bunch of info from him. So uh, I guess I was wrong. I guess you do need to be it to beat the game. I've just always gotten it because I like collecting everything. Um, so perhaps I'm wrong. All right, so let's actually say that. I don't know why I was. Oh, I, I'm gonna look at my journal a bit. I know some of you guys were saying like you enjoyed the journal stuff. I do too. We're gonna look at it after I face this boss, and we'll do a couple more journal entries. I just didn't want to do a whole thing of me just reading journals last week, uh, or last episode. And I figure, hey, you know, if I if I do some more journal stuff each week, it's just a little bit more to talk about. You're not kingly. Oh, I guess this doesn't count as being kingly. I didn't think it did. So I guess this doesn't count. I didn't remember it being the Moonlight Sword that I needed, because I, I always thought I got the Moonlight Sword afterwards. Alright, well, apparently we're not kingly, even though we have proof of being a king. Whatever. Alright, so let me go find a way to warp out of here, and we'll move on to other areas. And then we'll go ahead and talk about some of the journal entry stuff. Uh, where was that? I know, I thought there was one of those, uh, pentagram things on the ground over here. Somewhere. Maybe it's over in this room. Man, I thought I was all kingly and stuff, unless... No, I don't think there's anything I need. Maybe I need to get some other item I need to equip. So I don't think there's anything. Eh, I'll just come back later. Not a big deal. It's all right. I don't know why I'm not finding the warp out. That's kind of bothering me, actually, because I really thought there was one. It's probably just being stupid. But that's all right. I want to go back up to the forest anyways. I was just going to warp up to the forest so I could talk to the other uh, lady who's there and see if she says anything new. That, that was pretty much my entire plan with... The beginning of the warp, at least. Here we go. Ha! Almost went the wrong way, but I didn't. Almost happened. Alright. I was just I was trying to think of like stuff to talk about. I'm like, the only thing on my mind right now is I literally just got a PS4. I splurged, I like nothing left now. So I could get Destiny and try it out and see if I enjoyed it. And also, because I was like, I'm going to get a PS4 anyways for Bloodborne. So I finally got it. And I have been so busy since I picked it up. I literally haven't even turned it on yet. I just hooked it up today and still haven't even turned it on. That's how busy I've been. <laughs> but I really wanted to get this video done before I uh, posted it. Um, that was pretty important. Or before I left for San Francisco. So I could start compressing and doing all that stuff. That was pretty important to me. Priorities, guys. Priorities. Kingsfield, priority. May light shine upon you in the sword. Nah, we got nothing. We got nothing! That's alright. That's alright, I think it was worth checking. Alright, so let's warp down to the bottom level, and then I will look into uh, the various, some more journal entries this time around. And also remember, I got, uh, oh, Moonlight Sword. Important stuff regarding that, which I was showing in a moment. So actually, uh, you know, since I got it, let's go to the Blue Wand area, and I'll show why. You'll see why I'm doing Blue Wand area in just a moment. Alright, so... Let me go ahead and look at our journal now, because I kept on teasing that I was going to do it. Alright, I think we looked at Ancient City and Cursed Land, and I think we did the Holy Forest as well. Yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and look at the, uh, the Ancient Battle. I don't know if we looked at it. Yeah, we didn't, because there's not all of them. But let's go ahead and look at the Expedition, though. The Misfortune, that, and again, these are the guys at the spider, um, spider Flags, if you guys remember. Uh, who we've just seen throughout the entire game, and that's all the knights that we encounter. Like, all the knights we encounter are expedition crew. The misfortune that befell Haladin was the idol from the ancient city. The expedition led by the swordmaster into the city had disappeared. Once in the city, the soldiers behind the main team watched them become possessed by monsters and attack the remaining men. And that's what we saw in the, uh, when we first went in at the beginning of the game, where they had those creatures crawl into them and they became zombies, essentially. It was the Widdas that defeated the main mutant. The true end of the expedition came when Swordmaster Septiego was brought before the Queen. Oh, maybe then it's referring to the fact that they become Widdas, which we also found out. Uh, so that could be what it's talking about. I don't know, but being possessed by monsters, I would imagine is the little creatures that took control of them and made them zombies, and then there's the Widdas that took out the main unit. Uh, and then Swordmaster Septiego is who had this ruler sword. That's what I was trying to refer to, or trying to remember. So Septiego is who we got the ruler sword from, it was from his corpse. And that sword is what turned into the Moonlight Sword. Uh, so he was brought before the Queen. It was thought that Sep Diego was captured because he held the idol. But did he have something else that the Dark Folk feared? Ah! Oh, there's the hint there, right there, that he had the Ruler Sword. So there's that hint that maybe he had something else the Dark Folk feared apart from the Idol of Sorrow, which would be this uh, Ruler Sword, because it becomes the Moonlight Sword, so... Alright, nice hint there. Alright, the so Star is Endless Keys we can't look into. I mean, I could, but I'm, I'm going to save it until I have all of it. The Earthfolk. The Earthfolk came from distant lands to aid the Forestfolk craftsmen. 
Together they worked a refinery to forge tools used against monsters. That's that dwarf that we met. The Earth, uh, when the craftsmen left the refinery, the molten rock cooled. The leader of the Earth Folk obtained the icon within the lava cavern. So, it sounds like after the craftsmen left, they were actually trying to fix it. Or that's what that leader was doing. The leader of the Earth Folk turned his own people into ice with the icon. He then cast himself in ice, ending their history here. So maybe he was actually trying to save it, since the refinery, um, wasn't working properly after the Earth, after the, uh, after the craftsmen left. So, alright, we got widows too. Alright, let's talk about the widows. The soldiers that attacked the expedition are of an unknown race or tribe and are greatly feared even by the monsters that still dwell in the city. So, it's pretty interesting. All the other monsters fear these widows. Many monsters inhabit the ancient city, but among them, the widows are feared the most. It is said that they were the ones that destroyed the expedition. Well, that would be some good lore reasoning behind why the widow area is so difficult. I really do think it's the most difficult area in the game, and here's some proper lore reasoning as to why. A faraway kingdom that was bent on taking over the ancient city. They tried to enter the cursed land from the sea. The Widdas killed them at the, ancient, the ocean fort. Uh, oh. So a faraway kingdom, a different faraway kingdom that was bent on taking over the ancient sea. The Widdas actually took them out. Huh. That's interesting. Alright, so that's that ocean fort that we saw in the, before. Uh, where we got all the Widda items from. The ultimate goal of the Widda Queen was to awaken the Dark One. The soldiers were bred in order to prepare for his awakening. And we found that out from that guy that we talked to who's also waiting for the Dark Ones. The Dark Folk wait for the Dark One to awaken. Some seek power and others wish peace. It hasn't changed even after the death of their queen, as we got from talking to that guy. Alright, so next stuff we will talk about later. So, actually, we're uh, we're pretty close to all the rest of the journals. So, we got Dark Folk, Forest Warrior, and Shrine of Light. Oh, we don't have the first part. That's funny. Maybe we get that from that guy who I haven't didn't talk to. Um, or not the guy, the, um, the area I wasn't able to go to. Yeah, oh, shoot, this is not where I want to go to. This wasn't the right one. I wanted to go a level down. Uh, actually, you know what I could do? You know what I could do, actually, just because I'm curious to see. I went the totally wrong one. I was trying to go to the second floor, and instead I ended up on the fourth floor. <laughs> so, absolutely, totally wrong on this. But, okay. Yay, that's fine, I guess. We'll just run down and be athletic. You know, we gotta get in shape. We can kind of like put on some pudginess there and might as well do the stair workout because stair workouts are hard as hell. Actually, that's something I want to start doing again. I'm sure like bleachers by me. Bleachers are great. Let's just find some bleachers and you can do some really good stair exercises. Here you can find all the magic we're missing. So we've actually completed uh, what looks like to be wind, I believe. Yeah, so we've finished our wind magic off. We have all those. We got one left for most of them, or for a few of them, and then uh, dark and fire, it looks like we're missing two. Or no, fire is bottom left. Uh, what's this one on the top right? Water. So water and shadow, we're missing two. Uh, light, fire, and... Light, fire, and earth. Earth is the other one. Oh, that's light right over there. This is earth. This symbol's the earth symbol. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so light, those are the ones that we're missing one for. It's always kind of fun to see that fill up. Um... I mean, it doesn't do anything if it fills all the way up. It's kind of just fulfilling to see that. And Brent Ramstein was actually pissed at me. So I hope I pronounced that probably, unless it's Ramstein. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. For not using my magic crystals yet. The reason why I haven't used them yet is because I'm kind of waiting to make sure I get them all. Because I think I already used one, and there's a total of five. So it's just an easy way for me to keep track and make sure I've gotten them all. And yes, I could just memorize it, but I don't, I don't know. I don't really feel the need to. I'm doing fine without them. Um, that's, that's why I haven't used them, so I'm sorry that bothers you and bugs you out. Apparently there's a data gear I said I look at and I never did, as well. I don't remember that, but let's go ahead and look at our daggers then, and see about that. Uh, actually, like, I'm kind of curious now. I don't remember not looking at a dagger I said I was going to look at. Um, yeah, I don't remember. I think I looked at the queen staff. I'm sorry. I feel really bad now. I'm like, what did I forget to look at? I don't remember. All right, anyways, now we're on the actual level I want to be on, so. That's good. I really enjoy this song. Actually, I've been using the Kingsfield soundtrack a lot for various things, like um, my Souls videos. Hey, now we know where the other area leads to. That's basically just walking up from the first floor. I've been using uh, the Kingsfield Ancient City soundtrack for a lot of my recent Souls stuff, like the Dark Souls 2 Iron King DLC. I use a bunch of Ancient City tracks. 
I kind of got really into it again. I mean, I've been to it for a while. I've used the tracks a lot in a lot of my videos and lore videos and blessed plays and stuff like that. But uh, Vadi was actually like talking on Twitter to me. He was like, dude, the Ancient Seed soundtrack is amazing. Then Halkai jumped in and Halkai uh, provided me with the soundtrack. Even though you can just rip it from YouTube, it's nice to have a higher quality version. Just like as a friend. He was like, here, buddy. And I was like, dude, Halkai, you're a bro. You're a bro, man. You're awesome. So. Yeah, that was, I was just like listening to all of them like, yeah, yeah, Ancient City. So it actually felt like it fit really well. Sometimes, like all the lore videos, I kind of get tired of using the Dark Souls tracks over and over again. Even though I enjoy the soundtrack, it's just like, all right, here's another Dark Souls track. Here we go again. That's all it really is. So it's just nice to change it up a bit with the Ancient City soundtrack. All right, so the reason I'm going here is if you recall, uh, there is a Mew equipment here. Mew armor, so that is actually what I'm heading towards. Hello, and goodbye. Haha, <laughs> that was so easy! And we gotta level up. Nice. Oh, that was awesome. And we get a skull piece, jaw. And we get a jaw. I'll take that too, why not? Alright, so, I believe, where is it? Where is, where is the passage? Alright, maybe it's over this way further. Uh, is it? Oh, there it is. Alright, I don't remember being this far back. Don't get, don't get whatever effect this guy has, please. I'd really appreciate it if you didn't. All right, not try, not gonna drop your sword. All right, jerk. Actually, it's not a sword; it's just a different weapon. All right, so now that we have the moonlight sword, bam! That is how we cut through this and we get this equipment set. So this would be the Mew set. Now, so if you remember how amazing the Mew necklace is and the fact that it lets us see all the secret passages. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Mew Greaves, or the Mew Leggings. Where are they? Oh wait, no, I just got the arms, sorry. The Lord Mew's Gloves, so... Really good, 28, 35, 26. You can see it's actually better than the Ancient Gloves. For the Yeah, better than Ancient Gloves. And it weighs way less. The ultimate gloves spoken of in Legends. Designed and forged by, a ma by the Master Craftsman. And what am I wearing right now? I'm wearing the Night Gloves, so you can see like... Like, almost double the stats. Not quite, but, like, really good. So, we're gonna equip those. And I like that full length of it, too. Uh, some of the Mew set I really like, and some of it I don't. But I pr I'm particular, I like this part of it, this aspect. Alright, let's go ahead and fight a couple of these skull guys and see if we can get the drop from them. I um, kinda doubt it, because it's super rare. But might as well try while we're here. Like, super, super rare. I think it's actually supposedly not as rare as the items from... Oh, wait, I thought they were up here. Where are they? I think they're not, it's not quite as rare as the drops from Kingsfield 1 and Kingsfield 2. But, or North America release I'm talking about. Uh, which is ridiculous. Especially the Spider Sword. This Spider Sword can be my bane. Although I'm always excited to get it. It's just like, yes, yes, I got it. Maybe only one of them comes back. I think there was another guy over here before. Oh no. This is not going to be fun to grind it. If there's not an area where multiple of them come back. Alright, well, actually, since I ran far enough away, I wonder if the other skull head is going to reappear. Are you going to reappear? No. No. Oh, that's going to be so bad. Alright then. Alright, so let's go ahead and warp back to the bottom level now, the first floor, and get another piece of Lord Mew's ar armor, because if you guys remember it is, and then we'll check out the treasury once we got uh, more of his armor. And then we got more places to head to and check out, so... Alright, let's go ahead and use my yellow wand. And actually, I still gotta use my strange egg at the Wida area, too. I, I didn't forget. I didn't forget that I gotta use that. Uh, anyways. I'm gonna save it again. Just in case I die at the treasury. Even though there's a save point right by Lord Mew's armor. But, hey, might as well just save it. I've been playing for about 19 minutes. It's all worth it just in case. You never know. Even though I feel like I'm, I'm pretty confident about this first part. And actually, oh, there's a bunch of areas for me to go to here now. Like, actually, the area, the secret passage I didn't want to go to before. Now I want to go to it. And then there's the whole another bottom level here, so. Lots of places to check out. But first, let's backtrack and get some Mew armor. We gotta become the ultimate badass, and this is the way. The way to do it. Where is the dropkick lady? She's supposed to be waiting for me. Aw, dropkick lady's gone. Oh, hey. But we got Sprinty Demon. Sprinty Headbutt Demons here. Hey! 
Oh, man, he gets so much gold. There's, it's funny, like, the guys down at this point just give so much gold drops. It's pretty exponential at this point. At least it feels like that to me. Alright, I think it was to the left, and then I wrap around upstairs. Hey, it's the guy who likes breathing poison in his hand. He's still around. Oh, that was not... That wasn't very cool of you. Right, how many hits are you going to take now? My Moonlight Sword. Three hits. Okay, I'll take it. I like how I just said there's exponentially larger gold drops, and I get 56 gold. Like, oh, uh, nothing. Oh, cool. All these guys are still gone. Well, I'll take that. And now we get the Greaves. Now we get the leggings, so... Yeah, actually, you can pretty much just walk into it right away after you slash it through, so... I don't know why they're scattered around like this, but it would seem like, obviously, it's waiting for someone who can utilize the Moonlight Sword. So, 29, 21, 24. Again, the ultimate Greaves spoken of a legend. This one has light and dark defense. The other one, I think, just had light defense. Let's go look. Oh, no, I had light and dark. I was wrong. Uh, yes, yeah, so this one also weighs... I guess a little bit more than what I had before, but still not much. This is going to be 19.59, and again, just way... Oh, wait. I was looking at the wrong thing. I mean, hey, the demon legs are way better, too. 19.59 again. This one, way better. Look at the stab. It hit way better. Yeah, demon greaves are better, too, but there's a reason I'm not wearing them. Actually, demon legs have better hit, and not by much, but then way better dark. Dark makes sense. Yeah, so then the leggings, I'm like, I guess it's kind of cool. Arms I do particularly like on this set. Fashion field. It's all about that fashion field. It's the most important element of this game. Actually, I do like, and I only noticed this recently, that if I swing my arm, you can actually see my gauntlets I'm wearing. And for some reason, even though when I tried paying attention to that stuff when I was a kid, for some reason I didn't notice that before, so... I'm pretty excited now that I've noticed that, hey, actually my gauntlets change when I swing as well. They don't need to do anything else, because this game is one of those games where you can't see your legs. I've played games like, where you can see your legs if you look down, and it's funny, because it's like, normally you'd be able to, and that is technically what would happen. But something about it is kind of weird in the game. Maybe it's just because I'm so used to this, like a game like King's Field where you don't see your legs. But games where it's a first-person game and you look down and actually see your legs always seem kind of... Like, it kind of, something looks off about it. This actually looks more normal to me. And again, it just could be that weird factor of... I'm um, just used to it, and I've gotten used to the video game element of it. The video game element. Alright, let's, this time, let's actually do the treasury right and not die immediately. How about that? I choose that option. Alright, wait, what's up? I discovered a hoard of treasure chest nearby, let me show you what I found. I know you did, and I hate you for getting them before me. I opened some of them, but I didn't find anything that seemed like the treasures the star was after. What was it that he was seeking? I'm getting frustrated. Good, I'm gonna kill you and take everything that you took that I wanted. Like the feather bracelet and the crystal set. J -j -j Jerk! Especially like crystal armor. The like crystal armor set is so cool. It's so cool. I wonder if I should have gone in here after I got the other. Ah, eh, whatever. Eh, hey, don't even worry about it. I don't want to spoil stuff, even though it's kind of already spoiled in a way. Hey! Oh. That's a good way to... Oh, I shot lightning. I forgot that that was what I had equipped. I was like, all right. Uh, ooh, ooh. I already just almost died again. It's because that I was waiting for my magic to come back up, and I wasn't expecting it to take so long. All right. Oh, what does he drop? Like a nail thing. All right, let's look at it. Maybe I'll even see that thing that you guys were complaining I forgot to look at. I don't remember what it was. Oh, I should have filled up another, my crystal vial. Shoot. Oh, that's my, something I need. Oh, it's just a claw. Did I look at the icon of water? Ritual icon that purifies water. I think I did. I'm like all nervous. Like, what did I not look at? Anyways. Let's open some chests and get... Uh, 10,000 gold! I don't know why I didn't take that. That's what we need. Oh! Forgot that there was poison. That's okay. Oh, no. This casts way more than poison on us. Fantastic. Alright. Let's use a gold healing water and hope that it heals it. It did not. Fantastic. Oh, and one of these guys is here. Also fantastic. Well, I'm gonna go use gold potion, actually. Or maybe I'll stay like this for a while, open all the chests so all the chest traps that happen won't matter that much, and then we'll uh, we'll get some more gold potion. There is a reason for it. Um, why I'm, I'm so... I really want these gold potions right now. And yeah, you guys will know like why when it happens, but... 
Yeah, this guy's not too bad. It's just that demon guy has like crazy amounts of damage. Hey, come back, come back. This way. Oh, that was a mighty leap if I ever saw one. Alright, these are all still gone. Alright, you know what? This stupid poison I can at least get rid of. Purity. Don't have to worry about the poison anymore. Oh, and now I'm dark. Oh, great. Alright. So, that one is also one I can pretty easily cure and get rid of. Sort of. Just gonna use... Divine Light! I actually kind of miss the poison now, because at least I can see alright. Hey, I wonder if there's a secret passage. I have no idea. Yeah, so there's so many traps all over these, and I'm kind of just getting hit by them. Without even doing much of anything. Alright, let's get another one in 10,000 gold, and another trap. What do you know? Let's use purity. Alright, so... I think it might actually be through this door. Yeah. See right there? That is why I wanted all my healing items. It's because of that lava that you're going to have to run through if you want into everything. So, uh, maybe I'll finish exploring other parts of the treasury and I'll come back to the lava. Alright, what's, uh, and we'll do it later. So, door number big. Oh, okay. This is stuff that pushes you off. I'll go through the secret passage first. Especially because it'd be nice to be able to see for this. All right, and we'll go through a secret passage. Oh, sweet. Oh, it's the Triple Fang! Oh, I love the Triple Fang. Triple Fang started in Kingsfield 2. Or no, it was also in Kingsfield, Japan. Never mind, it's been in all the Kingsfield games. Uh, and I was using it for a long time in Kingsfield, Japan, but this has been in every Kingsfield game as well, Triple Fang. And unfortunately, it's not as good as the Moonlight Sword. Otherwise, I would've been wielding this the whole time in the other area if I got here first, which I usually do. After that death, I was like, eh, maybe I won't, but I'll just check this out when I swing it. Uh, it's, it's funny, because when you actually think about it, and you can sort of see it, there are three blades that you're swinging to the side there, so. Oh, man, that's awesome. Alright, so triple thing, a sword split into three blades, its origin is unknown, and it's been in every Kingsfield game. So, I'm, I forgot that that was here, and uh, I kind of wish I'd gotten it, but oh well. So, I could have used it, but now it's just kind of pointless. I need to use the Moonlight Sword, plus, if I level up the Moonlight Sword, it's going to be that much better. Alright, let's go through the main door first, I guess. And I think there's gonna be a puzzle around here. Yeah, this is a puzzle. Alright, so... You can see these icons. You have fire, wind, um... Water. Fire, wind, water, and... Oh, uh, that's fire. Fire, water... Fire, water, earth. That's earth. Fire, water, earth, and wind. So, I don't remember where... There's a code here somewhere for how to open this, this up, so it might be the other way. Cause I don't actually remember the way through. So yeah, let's look for the code. And actually, let me make sure. Yeah, I don't see anything on those, those pillars. At least like I can look through here without getting the gold potion stuff. Yeah, the thing about the gold potions is I just want to be able to run through and uh, not worry too much about falling off. Uh, yeah, that's not an instant death if you fall in there, it's just bad. So, oh yeah, yeah, okay, so if I open this up, See that? It's gonna push that open, so it actually activates a trap. So, you can't get everything, you just have to be cautious of that, that it's gonna try and push you off, and you have to kind of try to get it immediately, and then be like, alright, I'm off, I'm out, I'm out. So, that is what you kind of have to do. So you can see, I was pretty close to falling off the ledge there, so the middle one's the tricky one. Alright, come on, come on, come on. But, definitely the most worth it, because you get a crystal vial, and there we go, made it. I think actually I do want to end up dropping there at some point because there might be stuff down there. Uh, maybe I'll just find the way out. Alright, so let's get the another dra dragon flower and all this stuff's also good for when I go through the lava area just in case. I'm really curious what's down there. But I don't want to risk it yet. I mean, I've, I've definitely survived it before. before. Like, my last time I played this game, I didn't remember about that trap and just got pushed right off. I was like, oh! Alright, more possible traps. No, okay. Alright. Nope. Uh, come on. Nyeh. Nyeh. Ah, okay, cool. And, uh, <laughs> like, the sound I make as I back off, freaked out. Like, what's gonna, what's it gonna be? I'm finally cured up. I do not want to get hit by another trap. Alright, so 10,000 more gold that we can utilize. Yeah. Okay, 10,000 more gold. So here we go. This is how you buy all this stuff from him. 
It's a whole buttload of gold that for some reason he didn't pillage. He was very choosy for... Oh, dang it. That was just stupid. I saw it and ran into it. Well, at least it was just poison, so that's easy to heal. It's just darkness. It's just darkness that I don't like. Oh, that was an arrow trap one. Yeah, most of these are just traps, but... Uh, oh! Oh, I didn't get darked! Yes! Yes! So amazing. I I'm really good at this game, actually. Uh, shoot. I got stuck. Alright, well, that one's empty. And I guess you gotta open this through this side. Oh. I don't remember what that switch does, but... Probably important. Actually, I won't press it yet, just so I can try and find out what it does. Okay, <laughs> get shot by another arrow. Yeah, I'd say the switch is probably pretty important. That's what, if all of this is for just that. Every So far, everything has had nothing in it, except for that switch. Just a whole buttload of traps. Oh, and a skeleton. Oh, that's not too bad anymore. Now, if it was like one of those demon devil dudes, that would be bad. And we got another trap. All right. Oh. Ha! I feel lucky I didn't get affected by that at all. Oh, what do you know? So this just doesn't open. So apparently that switches to open up the passage. And also, why it's the one that sticks out. Every single other one points the other way, except for this. So, there we go. That should open up this door, I would imagine. Yep, there it goes. And am I really in this direction? Huh. I didn't realize I was wrapped around like that. Alright, so... This is actually going to be the inscription for the key to getting through. Stop it! Ah! No, 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 no! Dang it. That looks like Earth to me. Stop your fire! Stop your... There we go. Got it. Got it! And what do you have by you? You got anything good? You got anything good? Stop spewing fire and let me check it out. Let me check out your goods. I don't see anything. Eh, looks like you got nothing. Alright. First the Mother Earth was born. The pure water tamed the raging fire, the cold wind ended all. It might actually be reverse, um, but we'll just try in order first. So it goes, first earth, second water, that tamed the raging fire. Oh wait, if the pure water tamed the raging fire, I think that's actually the split. I think it goes earth, fire, water, wind. Because if you think about it, it was first the Mother Earth was born, then the pure water tamed the raging fire, so raging fire is actually second. Water is third, because the pure water came after the fire. And then the cold wind ended it. So it's going to be earth, fire, water, wind. Earth, fire, water, wind. Let's try and remember that. Earth, fire, water, wind. See, I almost uh, messed it up twice. But I'm, I'm fairly confident that, this, that that's actually what it is. Earth, fire, water, wind. Ha! Shortcut. My way! It's my type of shortcut. Uh, yes, this is the right way. Earth, fire, water, wind. I feel so smart for for reversing those two in the middle. Because you think about it in order. You're like, oh, it makes sense in order. Okay, so here's Earth. And nothing's going to drop me down. Then it's going to be Fire. So here's Fire. And then, yep, alright, I was right. So then comes the Water, which came the Fire. And then it's going to be the Wind, which cooled it all off. Hopefully I'm not missing any items by doing this, but I think this just drops you down that poison area. Oh! Well, I was wrong. What do you know? I was wrong. It would turn out. So, man, I was feeling so smart, too. Ha! That's so funny, too, just how smart I was acting about. Like, yeah, I'm a genius. Alright, physical up. Well, now we know about this trap. It might actually just have a warp point for getting out. It might be all that it is. Uh... How do I get out? Yeah, so here's where that is. Okay, so there you go. That warp point is how you get out, so you feel like you're just trapped, and not, you gotta warp out. Alright, well, good thing we got our bottom warp set up. I'm kinda just curious what else is up in these other areas. Alright, what's in this? What's this hole? One of those is definitely the... Oh, okay, so those are the four different holes that I could fall down. Alright, well, good. Now I can go to the lava trap. So maybe it is Earth, Water, Fire, Wind. I'll try that one next. Alright, anyways. <laughs> Whoops! But this is good. Now I got four, uh, four gold potions I could possibly use. Is this really not curing me all the way? Oh, it did, okay. I was like, really? The gold fountain's not good enough? 
All right, so crystal vial, me up. I gotta be able to run through lava. All right, another crystal vial. And, oh, I got tons of dragon flowers at this point. I have 10. I just remember running out and all of a sudden I have 10. Like that boss made me run out, the widow queen. And now all of a sudden, it's all good. It's all good, you know, it ain't no big deal. It's all good, it's all good. All right, earth, water, fire, wind. Eh, I'll remember it later. Man, that, that totally makes sense though, right? You would think that... Ugh, that makes sense to me. If it is Earth, Water, Fire, Wind, it's not just the reverse of doing backwards, I'm gonna be a little bit miffed. I mean, just for the sake of like, that seems like a cool puzzle. And I guess they just want to be really easy, like it is in order, but... Technically, that's not in order. Like, technically, the fire came after Earth, and that's what makes it cool! It makes it like a puzzle! I feel like that would have been like a Resident Evil puzzle. Or maybe Silent Hill, even though I've never played Silent Hill, so I don't actually know. What if the triple thing was the fire, uh, the, what Zastari was going after? It's probably gonna be what's beyond this sealed door. That would be my guess. But it could be the triple thing. Or what's beyond the fire. Uh, I did not, did I go up that staircase? I don't remember going up that staircase. I don't think I did. Huh. Well, another area I missed. Oh, good thing I noticed there's a staircase. All right, well, we'll go there later. All right. This is not gonna be fun. So first, let's go ahead and equip some fire resistant stuff. So let's go ahead with the flame shield, which has got fire resistance. Um, I don't think it matters for your helmet because I'm not running. I think the only thing that actually matters is um, your greaves. I've already got the fire mail, which has got fire resistance. Um, let's see if I got any greaves. I don't. Alright, hopefully I have some sort of leggings that have fire resistance. And the answer is no, I don't. Okay. Uh, let's also equip my ring of fire resistance. So right now I'm wearing the Widow's Ring. And instead we're going to use the Ring of Fire. And I think that's going to be everything here that's going to help me. Alright, so... don't think any necklaces will do anything. Protects body against magical attacks. Alright, well, we could use the Witted Necklace. Even though this isn't a magical attack, so I don't know if it actually does. But, might as well. And we'll switch back. And then what we're gonna do is use our Endure Fire. And start running. And start screaming in pain. Be like, oh god. <laughs> this area is no bueno. Oh, I should have also healed. Because the heal actually affects me as I'm going. Alright. Use another gold potion. Now you can see why I wanted those gold potions. I could also use a dragon flower. Come on! Oh, oh, I was so close to just making it without needing it. Come on. Okay, okay. There we go. Made it. And what we're gonna get here is the king's map. So that is what that idol is there. Alright, let's heal up. Alright, so next time what I'm gonna do is for this next run across, is I'm gonna use. Alright, here we go. First, I'm gonna heal. And after I heal, that's when I'm going to use... Oh, wait, actually, maybe I should do Endure Fire first, because that... Yeah, let's do Endure Fire first, and then we'll heal. Alright, so... Endure Fire. Alright, that's going. And now let's go ahead and heal and start running. Yeah, I think it's draining a little bit slower. Alright, let's use Gold Potion. I guess, like, the test will be if I can actually make it all the way across without that Herbal Liquid. Alright, let's use another... Healing water. And can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Okay, there we go. Well, I'm glad I had those healing posts. I mean, sure, I should use. Could he just use a dragon flower? That would have been hello. Fine. But um, yeah, I just prefer. Oh. Oh, I thought that was gonna be it. Well, somehow that hit him, and I got my herbal liquid back. Sweet. All right, so now let's, let's set the equipment back because otherwise I'm gonna forget. I don't do it immediately. All right, so let's see. Muse necklace, definitely. Ring of fire, let's go back to the Widow ring, which increases my hit points. And let's go back to the guardian shield, so. Actually, guardian shield's like kind of become crap. Oh, guardian shield and more fire damage. How many of you guys were looking at that like, Dave, you're an idiot. Dave, you're so stupid. <laughs> That's the real question is how many of you guys were thinking that when I was switching over to my fire shield? The fire shield just sounded better. It turns out the Guardian Shield was actually the better choice. Alright, so let's actually just run upstairs next, because I'm right here. Oh, more traps. Yay! I'm so excited. 
Hey, what do you know? Sweet. Engineer key. And craftsman's key. And oh, hey, it's the crystal set. Sorak's key. And I'm gonna have to come back here at some point. Priest key. I don't remember getting this last time I played, so I must have just completely missed this last time as well. It looks like it's just one row of chests. Sweet, we get the crystal helm, which is badass. Uh, we get that fruit thing. And a bunch more money. So we can buy the rest of the crystal set. Alright, how about that? How about that? I don't even need to buy that piece of the crystal set. And I'm going to equip it because I love that helmet. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at this crystal helm. A finely crafted helm designed by the Earth Folk. You know if it's designed by the Earth Folk, it's some good shit. 191610, even though, yeah, it's only down to 99. And this is 27, 24, 22, so way better than that. And look at that. Look at that. So badass. Love that helmet. Alright, and... Uh, actually, it's a little better than Shadow Mask. Um, Ancient Helm's got a little bit over it. Uh, just a little bit. And weighs way more. But yeah, Crystal Helm, oh yeah. Oh yeah, now I got so much money I can buy the rest of the Crystal set. It's a good day. Good day indeed. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and back up. Uh, go back up here. And go... The correct combination this time. It's gonna be earth, water, fire, wind. I'm sure that's it. It's just. Ugh. I mean, I was kind of nervous when I saw that, like, this was the diagonal, was the water. And I was like, that seems too easy that they just do it across like that, but still. I feel like last time I played. Yeah, this was right. I didn't drop down. I feel like last time I played, I made this exact same mistake. I, I think I absolutely did, and I thought I was smart, and then I wasn't. So, I believe that's the King's Ring there, and that's actually what's going to be the proof. So, this ring is the proof to get into that area that we needed to get into. So, I was... Comp this is what we needed. So, yeah, Ring of Wisdom is that proof. A ring that belonged to the Forest King... Forceful King increases magic power. So, compare that to our Widow's Ring, which is increases hit points. I'm gonna go with magic power, because I use my magic a lot. Actually, I wonder how much hit points it gives me. 618. 618. And then magic power is 86. Oh, 96 compared to 86. So it gives me 10 extra magical power. Anyway, 618 right now is how many hit points I got. So 618. This gives me 741, like 100 extra hit points. That's pretty good. And 445 total MP. I don't think there's anything finger MP. Uh, it doesn't. But yeah, look at all those. So I'm taking 100 less hit points to get way more magical power. And I feel like your magical power also affects your healing ability, I believe. So, I'm going to take Magical Power, just for that sake. Even though, I don't... Eh, it's kind of, you know, it's a trade-off. But I think that's what's good. I like when games are good about balancing. You really have to question, like, am I making the right choice? That's when you know it's balanced well, I think. Unless I'm just crazy and I'm not weighing things. Like, for example, my necklace that I have, right? The... Or not the necklace, the bracelet that I have. That is just the clarity bracelet. It's just so OP that everything else is just pointless. Unless you want to use no magic whatsoever, which is stupid, because especially concerning healing, it's just completely OP. Do you need anything? Oh, I was going to see if you said anything now that I got the treasure. So it's either the Forest Folk Ring or the King's Map that, that uh, Zastari was looking for. Alright, let's go ahead and buy the Brother Bracelet. And now that he's out of that, let's go ahead and buy Crystal Armor, because it's so badass. Alright, and then, let's go and buy the Crystal Arms, even though I'm not going to need them, because I'm used better. Ah! Oh, I can't afford the Crystal Greaves! Oh! I wanted the full Crystal set just to have it all out. Alright, I'm definitely going to wear the Crystal Armor, though, because... Look at that. Look at that, it's so much better! Other than the Fire Resistance, it's so much better for all overall defense. A finely crafted armor designed by the Earthfall. And I thought about the shoulder pads, actually. I thought it was cooler than it actually is. I guess I just like the crystal look, but the shoulder blades are a little too high. I kind of like it. It kind of looks robotic in a way. Anyways, uh, crystal arms are actually not too much worse. The slash defense is worse. And obviously, light and dark is worse. But other than that, it's actually not too bad. I thought they were way worse. Uh, if only I could do the full set. All right, let's go keep the muse going, though. If only I could do the full set, but I can't. But I can't. Alright, so... Uh, now I can actually go into that king's door, but before I do that, before I go to the king's door, where you're not, I wasn't kingly enough, uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to go into the water and explore the water, so... That is going to be my next step, so... 
what we're going to want to equip for the water is actually we're going to switch out our pendant here. Oh, damn it. Water talisman. Mm, all right, we want our water talisman, but there's a secret passage in the water. And I was, the Muse necklace is going to help us see where that secret passage is. So... I think it's actually over to the left. Oh, whatever. All right, let's just use the water talisman and just say, funk it. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I don't need it. Who cares? Who cares? That's what I say. Who cares? I don't care. You care? Because I don't care. That's how much I care is I'm just going to make random noises. Alright. And hopefully I didn't miss an item over to the right. I'm pulling what I did. So the key is just going to be to constantly heal. That's that's really the key of this area. As long as I'm constantly healing, I should be absolutely fine on my health. Um, yeah, so. We got to watch our meter there. But I should be okay. Alright, especially now I have more power. So you see that, yeah, I'm starting to drain down. But again, doing okay. Doing okay. I don't think there is anything in these bones. I don't know why I decided I needed to check it. Yeah, so I just gotta keep an eye out on my MP. And make sure to keep up the healing. Alright, so there you can see a window area there. And, ah, uh, well, the secret passage is right by the window. I thought it might have been, but just in case, I just wanted to equip this. Oh, now it's starting to drain pretty fast. Gotta keep an eye out on my MP. Yeah, so you can actually stay underwater pretty indefinitely. So long as you have enough MP to heal. So if you have items for MP, you can stay down here for a long time. But here's why I wanted to go down is because you can see another Mew item there. And then a chest. So a couple big things are going to be down here in the secret passage. And that is why I wanted to go down here. So here you have it. Mew's helmet would be in here. Which is pretty crazy. Look at that helmet. Like, it looks like almost cyborg-ish to me. The whole set looks very cyborg to me. I kind of wanted to wait. Oh, there's a skeleton here. Oh. I thought it was like the rest of the ancient set. But actually, I, now that I think about it, I remember where the rest of the ancient set is, so... Definitely wrong on that. Oh, ancient set. I know exactly where the final piece of the ancient set is, so... Anyways, I know where it is. I'm, I'm, I'm set. I'm good. I'm happy. Are you happy? Because I'm happy. Alright, uh, let me make sure I don't didn't miss any power fruit somehow. Oh, and I also never looked at the king's map. A magic map used by the royal family during the ancient days. And here you can see it is insane. It is literally a 3D view that you get to see. So you can zoom in and zoom out. So here I'm zooming out to try and go to the top. And this is literally the entire ancient city that we're getting a view of right now. So you can see right now it's showing me all levels. And if I zoom in, um, that's, yeah. So if I zoom in, it's going to go double by level. And then actually this little passage here where you see that circular shrine... That's where I'm going to be going to next. And I'm going to wrap around to the staircase, which is right over there that you can actually see. So you see the staircase. They fully realize that. Here's the passage I used to get down. And, um, yeah, so you can see all this stuff, which is pretty crazy. And, uh, yeah, so there you can even see the first level area here that this is where I'm going to be going next. You can see it's the staircase. And this is the area that I took uh, that had the treasury. So I think it even shows secret passages, but I could be wrong on that. Um... Yeah, so anyways, King's Map is a really, really awesome map. Uh, and also I can flip it around and turn it this way. So you can you can rotate it multiple directions. So uh, really good stuff right there. Oh, shoot. I got to heal again. What do you know? At this point, I probably should just go ahead and, you know, equip my water talisman. Well, I mean, it's not going to matter now that I'm already underwater. I just, like, run up the stairs. But, eh, you know. I'm close to this, it's fine. Run through here, all underwater. Oh yeah, I didn't use my magic crystal. I'm sure a lot of people are really mad at me about that one. But hey, we're gonna get another one right here. So, second to last water one right here. Which is completely underwater. What do you know? Makes a whole lot of sense, if you ask me. So we get another water crystal. And I gotta turn around really slowly to get out of here. And, yeah, I think I'm going to make it back completely okay without my water talisman. Which would have helped at the beginning. Um, honestly, I guess I should have just equipped it. But I wanted to make sure I didn't miss any secret passages. So I kind of just wanted to keep my Lord Mew necklace equipped for that sake. And 
I don't think there's any items over here. For some reason, I thought there might have been an item that had fallen that you could just pick up somewhere. But I guess I'm wrong, because I'm not seeing anything. Huh. It's like the second thing I was wrong about. Although I never went back to double check about the, the thing in the Wita area. Oh, shoot. That could have been really bad. That just made me pretty nervous. And yeah, making out of here in good time. I haven't equipped the Mew helmet yet, just because I wanted to leave my crystal helmet on for just one more glorious moment. So he might have been down into that spot that the item dropped I was thinking about. Uh, I don't know, I don't see anything. Huh, maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I'm just crazy. Or maybe I should go check. Let's find out if there's any items over here. I don't see anything. I'm just crazy. Oh, but there's a bunch of skeletons just waiting to say hello. Hello. Oh, oh. Hello. Help me level up my Moonlight Sword. Oh, I didn't get your cash. I need the cash. I need the cash so I can buy the final crystal set. Do I have 1900? I do have 1900. Ooh. I'm just gonna go buy it real quick. You guys don't mind, right? Right. Because we need to have that full set. It's imperative. It's absolutely imperative to have the full crystal set. Even though I'm not even gonna wear it because the Mew set's better. Just collectors. We gotta collect everything. We gotta catch them all. Pokemon. It's like Pokemon. Kingsfield from software Pokemon. Alright, so that is the next area we're gonna go to after um, I go up to the Kingly door first. Let's buy the final thing from Zastari. And also I'll go ahead and equip the Mew helmet to show you guys that, so. Let's uh, let's go Mew helmet. So, see 27, 24, it's at 100%, so 100 at 100 durability. So 27, 24, 22. You can see this is better on all fronts. Light and dark is really good on the helmet. It's also lighter, 3.3 pounds compared to 7.9. And the ultimate helmet spoken of in Legends, designed and forged by a master craftsman. And yeah, it kind of looks cyborgish to me. I mean, just because it's literally in the face of a person's face. So we just got to get that armor there. So armor is the next step to becoming full cyborg, full Kingsfield cyborg. I always like wearing this set with this a samurai blade. Like to me, for some reason, that feels like super cyborg compared to the Moonlight Sword. Even the Moonlight Sword has light magic, and it kind of goes with the whole cyborg idea because it's like you're shooting lasers in a sense. Like it kind of looks laserish, but uh, I don't know. For some reason, this set looks really cool to me with a samurai blade. Anyways, enough fashion field. Let's buy fashion field. Enough fashion field. Let's talk about more fashion field. Like buying the Crystal Greaves. Let's buy them out. And that is it, so there we go. Uh, I don't know if I got any of this stuff ever, but... Oh, Crystal Shield! Ah! Oh. Oh. I need 22,000 more gold. Well, that's alright, so at least we've made progress on the Crystal set, so... Alright, let's let's fashion field it up, you know? Let's, let's show off the full Crystal set real quick without this shield. Minus the shield, here is. Drum roll, please. Full Crystal set. Crystal Arm is equipped. Crystal Arm is equipped. Crystal Grease equipped. There you go. Full Crystal set minus the shield. Alright, so let's go back to the Lord Mew set. Now that, now that that's the answer. Back to Lord Mew. Back to Cyborg. Cyborg mode equipped. And let's go ahead and transfer up to the Kingly Door. Which I should have just enough time to do. As I keep on teasing it. And then we're going to be going downstairs. And I also got to decide about what, which episode I want to start uh, actually grinding away. I gotta like, double check and make sure there's an item that's good for grinding. Hey, remember when I used all and every single one of my gold potion? Let's let's refill those. Let's let's do that. So the area that I'm about to go to, uh, the Kingly Door area is really good for um, grinding. Um, if you want to grind levels, this is probably the best place to do it at where I'm about to go to so yeah just something to bear in mind if anyone is playing I know some of you guys actually start playing this game uh, some of the older games too which I'm actually really that's to me is really cool to see like to me if um, if people I almost consider that to be like a huge compliment that if you see this less player like wow this game looks awesome from watching me play it like, one of the coolest things to me about the Super Shows is when people are like, I really want to play this game now, or I want to play this game again, or this makes me want to play this game. Uh, people have said that about the Super Shows, and to me that's a huge compliment to that, like, I was able to make something that looks that was so fun, 
And that's that's honestly like I, I do try to put humor in the shows and all that and be humorous, but to me the main point of it, the super shows, and even my let's plays, is fun. Like I want want it to be fun. Like if I'm not having fun, then I, I feel like it's gonna be boring to watch. I've actually been doing hosting, on air hosting related stuff for six years at this point, or maybe more. I started in my sophomore year of college, I think. And um I don't know if I've been doing it for like six or seven years, something like that, I don't know. But I've, I've been doing like going around to conventions for like interviewing people for years and years and doing different types of shows. And my channel is really the first thing that's ever done super well. And I've been doing other channels like After Buzz TV, which is starting to get big. I, I've been working with them for like two and a half years at this point, I think, or two years. Two, two and a half years. I say two and a half years. But yeah, so like to me, the point, my philosophy was always like for podcasts, anything I was doing is like if we're having fun. That is what you're gonna want to watch. Uh, that's always been my theory, because that's what I like watching. You want to watch people having fun, so you're you're like kind of a part of it, and you have fun. It's fun to watch people having fun, and that's why a lot of times like let's plays help sell games. Guess who's Kingly, bitches? And he's gonna meet this dude who has an alien head. Worship the light. The light is the ultimate. Dude's got an alien head. Well, look at this dude's head. Seriously. And he's got like a big smile on his face. Oh, by the way, he summons like all these guys. So this is why he's really good for grinding with. So if I wanted to grind, I got some time actually. Let's just let's do some grinding. Awesome for grinding against this guy because he's just gonna keep on casting these guys infinitely. So if you want to level anything up, you can. I think you can actually leave during the middle of the battle too. Let's find out. I can't leave during the middle of the battle. So you can literally just be like, all right, I'm done grinding, and then come back anytime you want, and then regrind against this guy. I'm not gonna really do that. I just figured like I'd do a little bit of it just right now since um since I got some time. Um, so I was like, eh, might as well. But yeah, so he's awesome for grinding. And again, this is gonna be infinite. So if you don't want to get bombarded by these dudes, um, yeah, actually you're gonna have to take them out. But I kind of just like I don't know when I when I go to actually try to kill him. I'm probably just gonna not care at all about the fact that there's a million skeletons behind me and just like completely try to take them out. I'm also getting a decent amount of gold from this. But yeah, I mean, this is like, you can tell it's almost like a, a, a rush. Like, this is far more enemies than I've ever fought in a row. And the fact that I'm killing them with one hit too, it's just like, gain tons of EXP. I'm helping out the physicality of my Moonlight Sword. Uh, it's just like really good. Because I think every hit that you do on an enemy is one point towards leveling up the sword itself. So, yeah, like, super, super good for that. And obviously, the EXP in itself. And also, I should, could, uh, you know, cast some lightning and also do lightning. <laughs> and try and level that up at my MP, but I'm gonna go with my sword. I'm not too concerned about the magic stuff, honestly. Oh, you know what that reminds me of, actually, while we're here? Why don't we also check on our new magic? Which you guys were probably, again, going crazy about, like, Dave forgot the magic again. Alright, so let's use Earth Crystal, and we got a Water Crystal to use. Maybe we also try out the spell. And I got more MP for using it. Alright, so let's see what I got. So, it's gonna be Earth. So, oh! Meteor Cascade binds the Earth and the stars above, causing meteorites to crush enemies. That sounds amazing! Alright, let's get to a corner and use it in a corner. I probably, I hopefully won't get hit by it. Check out that meteor cascade. That was badass. Oh, that's that's actually maybe my favorite one right now. All right, let's use another. Let's use my other crystal. All right, so my other crystal then is going to be a a water crystal. One of the fat ones. Oh, also it completely restores your MP right when you use it. All right, so none. Oh, actually, this gave me. I just get. Wait, did I get more? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I think I just got one more. All right, wait, wait. Let's do Earth Heal at the bottom. So I, I think I just got Reckless Strength. Alters energy flow. The body becomes stronger and mind becomes weaker. Short duration. That sounds like a shadow thing, though. Remedy. Pure water gradually recovers bodily injuries or anomalies. That is what I got. That one is awesome. I wish I had that before. I just got Remedy. So that one is really good. So there we go. Now we can actually cure our bodily, our, our status ailments, except for not being able to use magic. That one we wouldn't be able to use. Uh, so that is really good. I was just double checking to make sure that's what I got. And it indeed is, so. Oh man, that's, that's a really good one. Whoops. 
Well, not whoops. It's like I literally just got it. I could have gotten it like right away though, right when I dropped on the first floor. So that would be that would be the mistake I made. It was just not getting that right away. All right, so skeletons. It's been fun, but I gotta go defeat your master. It's been some good. We, we had some laughs. We had some chuckles. But time to kill, kill a dude. All right. So actually, I can just open up the chest and get this right next to him, which looks like a crown. So let's go ahead and look at that as well. What is what is on my head? Did I? Yeah, the king's crown. An ancient king's crown made of gold that increases magic power. So again, we can increase our magic power even further. Although I would rather wear Lord Mew's helmet, but you know, I don't know if there's honestly any reason to kill this guy. Honestly, not sure. I think all you need to beat the game, even though I already made a mistake, is the Moonlight Sword and... Um, oh, shoot. That was, that was actually kind of close. Lord Muse. Uh, you don't need any Muse stuff. Uh, you just need the Ancient Sword and the Isle of Sorrow, I think. Could be wrong, but... I, and I also need the water item that I got. So that, that water... We're going to absolutely... We have to use the water thing. This uh, icon of water. So that's the other thing that I need. But I mean, like, there's a lot of things here that I've been doing that I don't think I actually need. Alright, two at once. I'm like, I want to leave, but I'm now I'm addicted to the whole grinding thing. I'm like, maybe I'll just keep on grinding. Because it's so fun. Nah, I gotta wrap this up. I gotta wrap this up. Alright. Let's kill these guys and let's do it. Alright. Time for you to go. Sorry, man. It was fun. We had some laughs. This time. I'll shoot a meteorite. Actually, that'd be pretty cool. Just shoot meteorites at him from the distance. Unless they miss. I have to figure out how to aim this a little bit better. It's not at all working. What are you going for, meteorites? I got a level up, but I was trying to... I wasn't trying to go for a level... Oh, there we go. Now we hit him a bunch. I wasn't going for a level up. I was going for... Sword level up. That was what I wanted. Alright, let's take him out for real. His face, though. That face, though. Oh, there he goes. We took him out. And we're going to get, uh, I think, a light crystal. I think this is the final light crystal. So look at all that gold that's just scattered about on the ground. For some reason, I thought you could get a scepter, too, but I guess I was wrong. So I don't think that this is the king. I think the other guy is the king, but maybe there's some implication that this guy is. I don't think this says anything when I check the chair. It doesn't, so. Hmm. It was just like, I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Alright, let's use the light crystal and check out what that gives me. Alright, so light crystal. That is going to give me. Give me, give me, give me. Let's see. Not one of those, so it's going to be an attack. So let's go ahead and check our attacks now. I don't know if it's going to be better than Meteor Cascade. Invoke lightning. Oh, gives judgment. Essence of light stored in divine orbs that chase enemies and explode upon impact. So I think that's basically that's what we saw him using against us. So that's what we just got. I really thought he could get a scepter, but I guess not. And it, actually, the chest next to him on the other side was open already. It's like, what was it? I don't know. All right, guys, but that is gonna wrap up this let's play. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, yeah, so next time we're gonna be going downstairs. Uh, even deeper, deeper into the ancient city. And we're going to get some more of the armor sets. And I think actually we might get, end up getting the forceful key, which is going to prompt me once I get the forceful key to re-explore. Re so then I'm going to go ahead and use the egg, the strange egg. Uh, go ahead and look for everything. Uh, look for all the forest folk chests. And maybe at that point, that's when I'll... Um, that is when I shall look for... I think I'm missing that at least. I don't think it's the Starry's key. Maybe it's the Starry's key is actually the forceful key. Oh, I think it's a Starry's key might be the forceful key. I'm not thinking about it. Hmm. Maybe now it's time for me to go ahead and re-explore if that's correct. As a Starry's key works as... I think it does. I need to go back and do the forest folk stuff. Well, what do you know? That's what I, I should probably do next time, as well as go downstairs and all that. So, uh, at some point I will grind. Uh, go ahead and get to try and get that item. So, that is going to happen at some point. So, I will see you guys next time once again as I'm double saving it. Because, gotta be safe. Better safe than sorry. And I'll see you guys next time. So, thank you so much, guys. Later, guys. Peace.